right with us now, Craig Smith, along with uh, Deirdre and Lauren. What do you make of that, uh, uh, Craig? We all need to relax, calm down. And, and by the way, London's still going to be okay. It's Europe that's the problem, the rest of it. Yeah, I'll, I've always wanted to use the word, Connell, rubbish yeah, on course. television. Well, okay? this is the week for it. I mean, <laughs> you know, for, first off, Deirdre made a great point earlier. Look, look at the Fitzy. It's recovered very nicely. And, and let's keep in mind that this whole remain or leave vote was huge politicking. The remain people spent millions of dollars scaring the average people in average person in Great Britain to believe that if they left the, U, the EU, the world would come to an end, there'd be disaster and blood running in the streets. I think people forget that the Brits suffered through the Blitz <laughs> and they made it fine, fine, just, just fine. And Con Connell, what I find amazing about the wanting to leave vote, they knew there'd be a financial ramification for this, and the Britons said, we're willing to take a little bit of pain if that's what it takes because we want our sovereignty back. I am convinced this had more to do with immigration than it did finance. Right. A lot of people think immigration was the key issue. That being said, the financial markets made the headlines on Friday, um, you know, overseas as well, especially continental Europe. I think it should be pointed out the drop that we saw in some of those major uh, stock indexes. But here in the United States, a uh, large economy with the down 600-point day and then followed up yesterday. So the fact that we stabilized, Craig, today and maybe for the rest of the week, not to get ahead of ourselves, is that important for the psyche and for building, um, you know, building up things in, in Great Britain and Europe to say, all right, it, the world is not over, we can stop, we can take a deep breath and think about it, the action in the markets? Yeah, yeah I do. I, I think it's a great breather. I, I'm not sure that the downside is over here. We, we, we may see a great rally coming out of this. I think what we should be hmm. more focused on, quite frankly, is the 1.1% 1 1 .1 GDP in the first quarter in the United States, the ridiculous unemployment numbers we have, okay, the, the lack of growth that we have in America, the $20 trillion worth of debt, I could go on and on. Right. That to me is more concerning, Connell, than what's happening in Great Britain leaving the European Union. Yeah, it's almost and that's an why excuse, I think right? You or, see this, yeah, it masks all well, that I, to some I, that's extent. A, well, that's why I think you see the, the safety trade on. People are moving to gold and treasuries. We have a treasury, a 10-year treasury, yielding 1.45%, and we don't think we're headed for a recession here in America? Right. I think we are. Yeah, no matter what they did in the U.K., a lot of people feel that way. Craig, thanks. Uh, 